I think on the heels of you know last several games, I think it uh, you know he's had some good moments, but uh, you know from start to finish, I thought he was solid. Uh, his activity level, uh, his discipline with his angles of his screens, uh, that was a big piece of it. You know, we got going early, uh, you know, early attacks and pick and rolls because his his angles set all that up. Uh, it's something that we've been stressing to see we you know have the opportunity to do it, do it at a high level. Um, defensively, I thought he was, was solid. Uh, his activity, his awareness of guarding a shooter, you know, of not you know, being overly aggressive and taking himself out of the play, but being able to get back, contest, uh, stay in the play. And uh, that's big for a guy who's struggled at times versus those, those type matchups. Did those moments in which you got to play with KP go exactly how you imagined, or what did you take away from that? Oh, they were good. Um, you know, I knew we, it was going to be a small sample. Uh, it's something we've talked about, something we've worked on a little bit, but. Uh, we were able to stay organized, and those guys, uh, you know, defensively cross match. But you know, overall, I thought those minutes were valuable. You guys were obviously good, kind of wire to wire. But how big was the third quarter, especially with all, I think it was like 13 assists, 15 buckets. Yeah, no, we, it was finished with 38 assists, which is a huge number. Um, we've shown we move the ball, and you know, our efficiency rate goes up. So uh, it's a good thing to see that that continues. You know, guys are continuing to play for each other and trying to make the right plays at the right time. Uh, and then also have the confidence to step up and knock down shots. But uh, that ball movement's got to be kind of our identity, uh, which it's, it's a good thing to, you know, guys have bought into that and we've had a lot of success, success with it. What prompted you to experiment with the KP GAF uh, grouping tonight? Well, it was actually on the docket since uh, we made the trade. and. You know, obviously, KP missed a lot of time early, uh, you know, after the break. Uh, Gaff was recovering from COVID. <laughs> so things didn't quite, you know, go as we wanted. Uh, so we wanted to just put KP in a spot um, where he could have immediate impact and have success uh, without overthinking or moving too many other pieces around. So, I mean, we, we've talked about it at length over the last few weeks, and obviously not, not a ton of games to play, but... In particular, tonight, we knew they were going to start big. So it gives you an opportunity, uh, you know, favorable matchup, you could say, to uh, to try it. I know Ava asked you about this, but I'd like you to expand. Were there specific things that you saw that you really liked in that in those 10 and a half minutes? Uh, yeah, it, it's one thing, and KP's done it all this, this whole stretch. His ability to stretch to the floor, it just opens things up. And that's where Ish and Sado have been. Uh, great at getting downhill, uh, gaffs, whether he's rolling and catching in the pocket and finishing or just rolling, it, it, those triggers open up the three. It opens up long closeouts. Um, and you've seen it, the numbers tonight, the points in the paint you know, allows the floor to be spaced and uh, allows us room to play. What do you hope an, a performance such as this does for gaffs confidence or especially yeah. heading into the offseason? Yeah, hopefully it's a, you know another springboard moment where he can just kind of take it. It's a positive step, uh, you know, and he's we have a few games to play, but uh, to see him bounce back the way he did after a tough night we all had uh, in Boston, I thought that was great. Rue kind of mentioned the other day that not being in the starting lineup was an adjustment for him, and he feels like he's in a little bit of a better groove. Have you noticed that at all, or do you just think he's able to kind of take advantage the more minutes that he's getting, uh, kind of playing with those group of guys. But I guess, are you seeing any different difference between him? Not in general. I think just the uh, more comfortability with what we do, how we do it, you know, the pace at which we want to play, the spacing, um, overall execution, you know, all those things, I think. But nothing specific that would say, well, you know, there's a huge difference between him starting or, or coming off the bench. Uh, obviously, the, the pairings on the floor it may matter because it, you know, some of that changes what we run. But um, in general, I don't think it's anything specific to him. But if that's you know an area that he's more comfortable in, it's it's, it's good to, to to know that. <laughs> well, you know, I think most guys would. <laughs> if Daniel were not agile with his feet and work back, would a defensive pairing with him and KP? Uh, I, I think in general, um, you know, it's a tough one to tell. Uh, anytime you have uh, 
unathletic, un unskilled, or it's, it, you're in for a rough night. But I, I don't know if I can answer that question or, or even, you know, that, that question makes sense, giving calf stability. Um, it's a good question if you're saying, hey, does it make sense to have a guy who uh, can't move his feet paired next to KP? I think it do doesn't work. Uh, Gaff, because of his agility, his size, athleticism, even when he gets beat, he has the athleticism to make plays late, uh, to make plays at, at, at the rim. Uh, you can switch at times depending on, you know, the ball handler is uh, with, with Gaff. So it gives you a little bit of balance, you know, and some nights it's going to work better than others. But I think in general, it's something that we've talked about and wanted to see, and it, it worked out well tonight. All right, we'll go to Zach. Hey, Coach. Um, I apologize if you addressed this already, but what did you think of Rui's bounce back night after his scoreless game the other day? Oh, well, it's a good sign to see. You know, it, it takes a little, a level of maturity um, when you, you have a tough night to put it put it aside. You know, obviously you got to learn from it, but you know, refocus uh, and come out fresh start. And I thought all of our guys did a terrific job with that. Uh, we put that one behind us. Obviously, it's one we'd like to forget, but uh, we knew coming in this was a big game for uh, the Wolves uh, with playoff seating and implications. We were going to, you know, anticipate getting their best game. So uh, it was good that we finally got our defense set, uh, defense into the game, and obviously we make shots, move that ball. We're pretty tough to beat. Thank you. All right, last question to Neil. Hey, Coach, do you expect – uh, to have Kyle Kuzma tomorrow, and additionally, do you expect to rest anybody additional uh, because of the back-to-back? -back? Uh, we haven't talked about the uh, the resting on the back-to-back. -back. I don't anticipate having Kyle. Um, we'll see how guys respond. I know they play a lot of minutes early. Um, our young guys play a lot of minutes throughout, which which is obviously a good thing. But uh, we'll see how everyone uh, feels on the flight down and, and where we are when we land uh, and make that decision. I thought I thought we would be pretty good all together. Um, and yeah, Gap is one of the most dangerous pick and roll players because of the attention he draws in. And tonight he was, you know, they weren't doing a good enough job on him, so he was getting a lot of wide open lobs, uh, layups, and that kind of thing. So Gap had a fantastic game. Uh, I'm happy for him. And, and I enjoyed playing alongside with him. How um, big was it for you to see this team kind of regroup and, and come out with that good team effort also after Boston? Yeah, I think it was important for us to to get get that feeling back. You know, that, that was an ugly game from us. Uh, but we knew that, that that's not who we are and, and we could play at a much better level. But hats off to, to Boston. They played incredible. They, that was, since I've been here, that was the best defense I've played against. Uh, uh, but yeah, we came out tonight, came prepared to play. Uh, Ish was fantastic, had great energy on the bench. Everybody was into the game. Thomas was getting wide open looks for everybody. Rui played really good. I think from top to bottom, we just kind of were having fun, sharing the ball, playing well. Uh, but yeah, Gaff, Gaff was, uh, was exceptional tonight. What have you learned about Gaff since you became his teammate? Yeah, I love Gaff. He's super chill. He's Super chill teammate and, and, and a good teammate. Um, uh, and I think both of us playing together uh, defensively, it's, it's, you know, two seven footers. I don't know if you're seven feet, but he's long and he's athletic. Uh, not as athletic as me, of course, but he's super athletic and, and uh, he, can, he can block shots. He can, he can recover situations when it's already too late. Uh, and to play with a guy like that that can always have your back, uh, it's it's fun, you know. And, and yeah, he's been he's been nothing but a great teammate uh, on and off court. Oh. <laughs> I'll take a quick one from Zoom. Stops. KP, great game, great win. That bounce back ability for you guys. What kind of foundation? is for the next season. Oh, huh. Yeah. Um, I think 
you know, we're, we're, we're learning. We're learning about each other. We're learning about the coaching staff is, is learning my game, is learning everybody how, we, how we're going to click uh, next season. Uh, as I said before, we, you know, we're missing Brad and hopefully he's back uh, with us next season. But, but with the group that we have, we're, uh, uh, I think we're building it and we're building in the right direction. We're, you know, we bounce back from games like, like passing game, which is important. Uh, you know, it might not mean anything in, in terms of the standings, but it means for us as, as a group and, and, uh, and going into next season. Uh, so we, we have a long off season ahead of us. And it's important that we go into the off season with, with a positive mindset and good feeling about how we finish the season uh, and then work our asses off in the off season and come back uh, next season ready to make some noise. Thank you very much. Thank you. One more from Hey, KP, just what's the communication like on the defensive end when you and Gaff are both on the floor? Yeah, that's one thing since I got here, I kind of been trying to instill into everybody that we have to talk more on the defensive end. We have to be loud and we have to let each other know, even if we make mistakes, we have to keep going and keep 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 yelling out the, the defensive uh, coverages and, and just be talking. We have to talk more. You know, that's, that's something... Um, we want to be a good defensive team. We really have to step up, and we have been doing a much better job, job lately, um, anticipating what's going to happen and, and talking, talking out, the, saying whatever we need to say on the defensive to make sure everybody's engaged. And uh, and yeah, me and Gaff, I think we're going to have good synergy uh, going forward. Is that a word? Synergy. Pretty good. What did you feel like the team did well tonight, Daniel? Uh, we paid attention to detail and we locked in defensively. That was the main thing. We knew that we were going to be a lot of three shot. We had locked in on the rebounding set, uh, rebounding point of it too. You know, everybody came in and they crashed the glass, you know, came in, gained rebound. Um, it was some bumps in the roads where we didn't get back in transition, but we fixed it on the fly. You know, we stayed, I would say we stayed together and we stayed calm. We stayed poised. We didn't let anything, I would say, rush us. I was trying to talk to guys as much as I could out there on the floor too. It was just like, don't let them speed us up. Because, you know, sometimes they were a little aggressive. They were amping up on their deep, on the defensive end for them and kind of making us turn over the ball and stuff. And they're a real good team when it comes to scoring off of turnovers. So that was the main thing is what we had to do was just take care of the ball, find the right guys, put it in the uh, hands of the right guys and stuff, you know. When did you find out today or maybe the day before that the coaches intended to play you alongside Porzingis? I found out. Uh, I found out yesterday. Me and Coach had um, a conversation about it and stuff. He said we were going to experiment with it, and I was like, "Yeah, okay, I'm down for it." You know. And how do you think it went tonight? And what do you think the potential for it is for this team? I mean, it went good. You know, I felt like it went the way that we wanted it to. You know, we made sure that during shoot around and stuff, we kind of went over some of the points and stuff on where I needed to be on the floor when KP has the ball and needed to space out. KP spaced out the floor. We did basically everything we needed to do on the floor to make it work. And, you know, if we go with that again, night in, night out, it's going to be good for us because, you know, it's helping us open up the floor. It's making our offense flow a lot more, you know, smooth. I would say there were some times of confusion, but we did figure it out too. Yeah, you guys in the past month or whatever have had really high highs like mm -hmm. tonight Detroit and everything like that and really low lows what do you think is the key to kind of flattening that out like is there one thing where you're like if we can just you know key in on the rebounding every night that'll help everything else mm -hmm. I mean just really just like I said really just locking in and paying attention to detail on things that helps us you know have nights like this you know, it's just like the rebounding. We have to stay locked in with that every game. We got to remain consistent on the areas that, you know, we want to excel in, which rebounding is one of them. We got to make sure guys don't, you know, come in and get their career highs with offensive boards. We got to make sure, you know, we rebound the ball in general, gang rebound, always be there for each other, communicate on defense, you know, and play as a unit. That's the main thing that'll help our offense, that'll help our defense. You know, night in, night out, if we have, like, communication like we did tonight, then make sure, you know, we don't get frustrated with the refs because night in, night out, it's going to be tough with the refs, you know. But <clears throat> that's not going to change in any given day. So we just have to keep playing. That's the main thing. Staying locked in and staying the course and just playing a full 48 minutes of the game. What do you think it will do for your off season to, if you can have, you know, a couple more games to end the year like tonight? Um, It'll be real good. You know, it shows that, 
us finishing off the season, it gives us that, I would say, mindset to come into the next season to pick up basically where we left off. You know, it was a lot of bumps in the road. It was a lot of adversity throughout this season that, you know, we really didn't expect. So a lot of stuff that didn't go our way. It was a lot of outcomes that happened with us that we didn't expect either, you know. So when it came to that, I felt like, you know, it was some like I, I say for myself, I didn't handle that well. There was times where I came out and just played and I didn't show, you know, the level of play that I did tonight. And that's one thing for sure. I have to work on my consistency. You know, I'm pretty sure other guys in the locker room are saying the same thing. So one thing for sure for me and speaking for everybody on the team, it was a lot of adversity that we had trouble getting over throughout the season. But we found a way and we stayed together. You know, it was a lot of guys came in. It was a lot of guys that went out and we still kept going. We came in every day and we worked. We came in every day and we paid attention to detail and we tried to figure out ways to put ourselves in the position that we wanted to be in. And so going into the off season, if we can keep this stretch going, that gives us a lot of confidence coming into the next season. When we're all fully healthy. Oh yeah. Um, the main thing is really just if I'm open, shoot the ball. <laughs> you know, it was one where Carl Anthony Towns, he basically backed up all the way to the basket and I still went to go do a DHO. Um, that's the one thing that I need to excel at. It's building my confidence to where I just take the shot and not worry about the outcome. If I make it, good. If I miss it, next shot, plain and simple. Next play down the floor, get it back, uh, get it back on defense with a stop and don't try it again until the next couple of plays. You know, <laughs> um, but really just, you know, working on my level of confidence to be able to take those shots and feel comfortable in that setting to make those shots, really. Mm -hmm. I was good because, I mean, you know, KP, he's somewhat of mostly just like a pick and pop guy. He posts up from time to time, and I'm just a guy that's down there in the dunker working, you know, wedge rebound and doing all the dirty stuff, you know getting in there, fighting, biting, scratching, whatever I can to get a rebound or anything. And KP does his work up top. So it's it's good. We I had a conversation with KP at halftime. I think it was halftime. Or it was before um, the second quarter. He had told me, he was like, you know, if I get the ball at the high post or anything like that, if I'm on one side, go to the opposite. If I'm on this side, go that way. So we basically planned it out perfect. You know, we figured it out. And it worked out in our favor tonight. All right, I'll take a couple quick ones from Zoom. You're on. Hi, Gaff. Uh, can you talk about the connection with Denny? Connection with Denny, you said? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, me and Denny, we have a good connection. You know, um, I try to keep him locked in when it comes to the refs because he gets frustrated time and time again when he doesn't get fouled or he gets frustrated in general. He does the same thing to me. So we just try to make sure we're both on the same page going down the stretch. You know, if he makes a pass or if he, you know, gets a turnover or something like that, I always try to go talk to him to help him figure out ways to where he can fix that. He can fix whatever happened the play before and tell him that, you know, just worry about the next play and try to get a stop on the defensive end. If you turn it over, if you miss a shot, try to get a stop on the defensive end to go get that shot again, plain and simple. So we are always in each other's ear and trying to make sure that we're both staying locked in. You know, it's a lot of frustration out there on the floor and having guys, um, you know, come up to you and try to help you is something that's big because it brings you back down to earth. Because if you get frustrated, you get into your own head, you start to get down on yourself and whatnot. And I see that with Denny all the time. And I try to, you know, at least give him some type of advice that'll help him on the floor in the long run. And he does the same for me, so. All right, last question on you. Hey Gaff, I guess first off, do you know? Did you know that you scored a career high twenty four points and had a career high twelve rebounds? Uh, yes. Well, I knew the career high in points. I didn't know it was a career high in rebounds. <laughs> and I guess for you and KP, you know, obviously still a long ways to go. This is just a small taste of it. Where do you guys see that? You know, communication wise, you guys can improve. Obviously, you guys playing center a lot, you know, are sometimes the focal point communicating. How is it? Is it better when two guys, you know, with that much used to doing it are out there? Oh, yeah. I mean, it worked out in our favor tonight. Um, as everybody can see, you know, we, like I said, we dialed in on it this morning during shoot arounds. We put in plays with me and him on the floor at the same time, and we 
came out and we, you know, had turnover from shoot arounds and brought it to the floor. So we really were paying attention to detail and came out and executed the way we wanted to tonight. You know, I wasn't in his way. You know, I, I don't I try my best not to be in nobody's way, especially out there on the floor. And, you know, the communication with both of us, it was good because he told me wherever I'm in on the floor, just work opposite. And he'll either find me or he'll get a bucket or he'll get the ball on the rim and I can try to get the rebound. Those are the main things um, that we talked about uh, before the game and stuff. And like I said, it worked out in our favor. And I, I feel pretty good about it too.